Acts 22. Just to remind you, in Acts 21, Paul was being killed by his Jewish brethren. They wanted him dead, and he was arrested by the Romans, bound hand and foot. And he stood before them, and he was making his appeal to them. Remember that he'd shaved off his hair, he was completely bold, and that's because he took a special vow of dedication, the Nazarite vow. And he was showing himself to be a Jew who was zealous for the Lord and zealous of God. And it says in verse 3, Paul speaking to the crowd, I am verily a man which am a Jew. And at the end of that verse, taught according to the perfect manner of the law, of the fathers and was zealous towards God as ye are this day. So he was saying look there's no difference between me and you. I am zealous for God just as you are and I can understand why it is that you want to kill me because you're zealous for God and you don't want anybody to get in the way of that. But I have an important message to share with you and here he was making his defense. And it says in verse 4 that I persecuted this way, that's the Christians, unto death, binding and delivering into prison both men and women. As also the high priest doth bear wit me witness, and all the estate of the elders, from whom also I received letters unto the brethren, and went to Damascus to bring them, which were there bound unto Jerusalem, for to be punished. So he would persecute Christians unto death and he even knew the elders and the high priest and some of them were standing in the crowd and they would bear witness they would say yes we know this guy his name used to be Saul and he used to be zealous for God and he even wanted to kill Christians and have them bound and brought to Jerusalem and placed into prison and now his name is Paul you know and he's um, now a Christian and he stood before them proving that he is zealous for God. Now I would have been the enemy of Paul and Paul would have been my enemy back then. You see he was persecuting Christians and yet he became possibly one of the best Christians ever. And I have to say you know I admire Paul. One of the reasons why I came to Christianity and I really found faith, I really truly believed was Paul's history. You see, he had everything. He had position and power with his Jewish friends. And yet, he became their enemy because he accepted Jesus Christ as God's Son. He accepted the message of Jesus that you can be forgiven for your sin by believing in his payment on the cross. And that he died and he rose again on the third day. Now you see, Paul, he didn't have an option in belief really because Jesus showed himself on the straight street for a flash of light and blind Paul for a while. He had no option, he had to believe. But what's amazing is how Paul was so known to the Jewish people and yet he made himself a lowly position to follow Christ and lost everything for doing that. And that's one of the reasons why I believe in Christianity. It's simply because of Paul's history. I believe it gives us a great testimony to the fact that Jesus did in fact raise from the dead. Now it says in verse 19 that I, that is Paul, imprisoned and beat in every synagogue them that believed on God. And it says in verse 20, on Jesus sorry, and in verse 20 it says, And when the blood of thy martyr Stephen was shed I also was standing by and consented unto his death so he's saying you know I agreed and I consented with the spilling of the blood of the saints of Christianity he was a complete opposite um, for Jesus he hated Christians and wanted them to die and then it says in verse 22 they gave him ordinance unto his words and then lifted up their voices and said away with such a fellow from the earth for it is not fit that he should live they still wanted to kill Paul and Paul loved these guys he used to go out and preach to them before he would go and preach to the Gentiles he wanted his Jewish brethren to be 
to be saved but they just weren't willing to take the gospel and yet here they are saying look we don't want him just go and kill him and in verse 25 it says as they bound him with throngs Paul said unto the centurion that stood by is it lawful for you to scourge a man that is a Roman and uncondemned when the centurion heard that he went and told the chief captain saying take heed what thou doest for this man is a Roman you see Paul had a lot of money and he bought his Roman citizenship and that's another reason why I believe he lost all this money all this fame and this fortune and here he is being bound and at this point I believe that they were probably going to have him whipped or um, or interrogated in some way and yet because he had Roman citizenship you know Roman citizenship you couldn't be treated like this you couldn't be bound hands and hand and foot you know that was of people that weren't Romans and um, they were concerned about how they treated Paul it says in verse 28 halfway through with a great sum of money I obtained I this freedom and Paul said but I was free from born from birth so he was a Roman citizen from birth and it cost his parents a lot of money in 29 it says then straight away they departed from him which should have examined him and the chief pre captain also was afraid after he knew that he was a Roman and because he had bound him you see the chief captain was in a lot of trouble you can't just ban Roman citizens like this, you know, that's not the way to treat fe fellow Romans. And yet this guy, you know, he had his hair shaved off, he was probably badly bruised and beaten, he was in a terrible state and the chief captain was like, how are we going to get away with this? On verse 30 it says, on the morrow because, that means tomorrow, on the morrow because he would have known the certain certainty therefore he was accused of the Jews he loosed him from his bounds and commanded the chief priests and all the council to appear and brought Paul down and set him before them so you know Paul he was uh, he was persecuted in the previous chapter and he stood before the crowd and told them all you know he's thrown out of the temple not only the gospel but also who he is and why he should be accepted and now he's about to stand before the chief priests and um, you know the council and sort of talk to them and hopefully be given an opportunity to share the gospel so the message from this video really is that you know Paul is a great testimony on why we can believe in Christ and his resurrection the very history that he went through and also that when we're persecuted again we have opportunities in order to proclaim the gospel it's great to be bound in chains personally I don't want it but the um, but the end effect may be that you have an opportunity to witness to people that we never would have had that chance to God bless you thank you